Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Joe. This is your full review of the High Point 1095 10 millimeter carbine. Let's check it out. It's got some Remington 180 grain full metal jacket 10 millimeter. So for YouTube's purposes, just want to let you guys know that are reviewing this video. This was conducted on a safe range. We had our eyes, ears, everything was pointed in a safe direction. All safety protocols were followed. So let's get into the video. So welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining. Uh, I am super impressed with the 1095 carbine. Now you guys saw the first shots video last week, but this is the full review. So let's not waste any time and let's get into some specs of the 1095 carbine. All right, guys, we're going to start from the muzzle end. This 1095 carbine comes with a threaded muzzle, and the thread pitch is 578 by 28, so that should be all your 45 ACP suppressors. It comes with a 17 and a half inch barrel. Your overall length is 32 inches. Uh, I'm looking at it because I have a spec sheet over here to make sure I'm getting you the right information. Uh, the overall weight unloaded is 7 pounds. Uh, fully adjustable rear sights. You got a... Uh, front the peep size pretty much uh, you get skeletonized stock you get a flat back receiver uh, left hand charging handle uh, you do get the free I would give you a free trigger lock with the gun um, it is let's see make sure I got all that you got the recoilless buffer system in the back that holds that 10 mil carbine you get a padded recoil uh, uh, comb pad right here on the stock it, like I said, it is in 10 millimeter. Last round bolt hoe to open. Uh, you got a pistol grip, uh, your standard magazine release, thumb safety, and it does work. <laughs> um, yeah, they come with 10 round magazines, so they're able to be shipped in all 50 states. They do actually accept the same as the JXP 10 millimeter pistol. But those are the specs. Let's get into some footage. All right, guys, let's talk about some accuracy. So in, on the 1095 carbine, I am rocking the Viridian Optics RFX 44 closed emitter green dot. We're rocking about an inch and a half riser on here. This has a full length Picatinny across the entire top and it has some Picatinny rails on the bottom and out front. So if you wanna run a bipod or something like that. So you have some attachment points, but let me put this down. We're gonna go target wise. I was about 10, 15 yards, just kind of open sight. Uh, a lot of this was offhand shooting. Uh, so when I was sighting it in, got everything all squared away. Again, I was most of this was offhand. Um, pretty nice grouping center mass this was with the Remington uh, UMC 180 grain then I started going to the um, blazer brass 10 millimeter 180 grain uh, I will say I started getting a lot more better groupings I had to adjust the red dot just a little bit but this is pretty much what we're looking at here good accuracy good groups as long as I can shoot it uh, so yeah right now we got Doing this is probably just a whole box, uh, 50 rounds, but really good accuracy for, again, just shooting offhand. These guns are only meant for, you know, if you're getting a 10 millimeter, you could probably get 50 yards out of it. So for something like this and me just shooting offhand, I am very happy with the accuracy of the 10 millimeter. Now, if I were to get hard cast bullets or like some buffalo bore, I'd probably get better accuracy and more velocity with that being a 17 and a half inch barrel. So maybe down the road, I will try and pick some up. I'm looking to go pig hunting with the 1095 carbine, but accuracy wise, it's a very acceptable for my usage at the range when I'm just trying to, you know, just shoot, have fun, have a little bit of a different caliber and, you know, get my repetition in. And I think with the 10 millimeter, that does it as long as you can afford the ammo. That is probably you know, when I get down to pros and cons, that's going to be one of the cons. But accuracy wise, with just some Blazer and Remington UMC 180 grain ball, 
it's very, very good. I really, really like the accuracy for what it is, just using a red dot. So with this gun, I will say it is just so fun to shoot. Just general, we're just talking general shooting terms here. Uh, with it being 10 millimeter, yes, it is a uh, different caliber, but you have a lot of uses out of this. Now with it having all the Picatinny rails all over for top, bottom, out front, you have a little bit of customization, whether it's, you know, grip attachments, bipods, light, lights, lasers, you name it. You can get that done with a 10 millimeter carbine. And with it being threaded, I don't have a suppressor for this yet, but down the road I'm looking at it because I live in the great state of Florida where I can have a suppressor. Uh, so I can imagine this running very good with a suppressor with that, you know, harder and hotter, you know, 10 millimeter loads. Uh, but general shooting with this recoil pad, granted with a carbine and the weight of this and it being 10 millimeter, I will say it's not that like noticeable it's like shooting a nine millimeter carbine to be quite honest i didn't find it being a heavy hitting pistol caliber carbine because everyone gets that notion of oh it's 10 millimeters trying to kick like hell this doesn't this thing purrs like a kitten uh in the next couple in the next footage here you're gonna see my buddy got gamage i went to the range with him over at guncraft in ruskin florida uh we were doing some shooting today when we did the full review he got a chance to shoot that so why don't you check out what gamage has to say about it and then we're gonna get the pros and cons guys we got got gamage here go check out his channel he's gonna be shooting with a 10 millimeter high point there's the bag, my friend i'm excited about this i've heard the entire time and uh run it I want to see what this feels like. All right, I'm going to get out your way because he's got to be a lefty. Oh, that surprised me there. First of all, let me say how masterfully he set this dot. Like this <laughs> thing is, jeez, you get in the camera. I thought you were a oh, dude, you got another mag there. Get nuts, brother. I'm literally staring at my target. I'm like, oh, he's got one over here. I'm like, man, I knew I sighted that in. I know, I know I get that dot sighted in. <laughs> the charging handle's a little rough for me but it's only because I'm coming from this other side. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna try that. Let me see. There we go. All right. I see what I'm doing wrong. That's on me. I'm gonna tell you something else I like about this. And I don't even know what this feature would be called, but the fact that this stock almost reciprocates back and forth, like it dents in on the shoulder. So as the recoil is coming, like it actually, instead of it being something that's jamming into me, it's almost riding. I like that. I like that. 10 millimeter, huh? We're gonna have to get you in one of these. High point, huh? High points for the for, for only the best people. High point, huh? <laughs> 10 millimeter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's dump this last mag. He does it so easy. There's only a one inch pasty down there, guys. He's blowing it out. Blowing it out. I mean, he's boosting my ego up. <laughs> uh, guys, I'll tell you right now, this 10 mil high point, definitely a big, big buy. You gotta get one for the price. Uh, the features you get with it, the RFS 44 is fantastic. We're gonna get the shoot the shooter footage on this is actually gonna be in the full review of the RFX 44 optic. Make sure you check that out. 
Go follow Gut Damage on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok. Wh wherever you scroll at Gut Damage. Go get, go check him out. Check out Squad Drills, guys. I can't stress this enough. Please do me a favor and check out Gut Damage. He is a extremely like just all around good human being. You can't. I've never met someone that's talked to him and it's not like, man, Gamage is awesome. He does great content. Go check him out. I'll have the link in the description for his YouTube channel and get him higher and higher in subscriber count like we're trying to do here. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. Let's try and get to 5K by the end of the year. But let's just talk about pros and cons of the High Point Carby. Pro, it's inexpensive and affordable for the common man. These right now are sitting at around $350, $400, depending on what store you get them at. But if you get them on the used market, you can probably get them under $300 for a 10 millimeter carbine. That is extremely affordable and it gets people into something that again, they could use this for home defense, they could use this for hunting, uh, they can use this for anything. I'm probably gonna use this as a little, like, you know, truck or car gun because it's small enough where I can hide this in my back seat. And another pro is the magazines. When these first came out, magazines were kind of tough to get, but if you check out places like Gun Mag Warehouse, Brown Owls, uh, or High Point itself, the 10 millimeter carbine mags are the same as the pistol mags. So they're running at about 30 bucks. Sometimes you probably get them on sale under $30, which again, it's affordable for people that they want to have multiple magazines. Right now I have four. This only comes with one magazine. I, you know, with me, them sending this to me, they did send me a couple extra mags, which I really thank High Point for sending those out. Uh, but magazines are plentiful and inexpensive. The guns itself are attainable for people that are on a budget. Say if you're like a college bound person and you're of age and your state laws, of, you know, you're following all your local laws, you can have a carbine for self-defense uh, you know, live, you know, live on your own or something like that. This would be perfect for that. Uh, you can also get, you know, so with it being a Picatinny rail, you can pretty much get any red dot or even if you want to take off the rear sight, you could get an LPVO on it. I wouldn't recommend it because that would probably give you a little bit more weight. And again, your max range being one in a hundred yards, depending on the loading you're doing. Uh, ergonomics, it's not really a con, but it's just how these guns are made. Would I like it to have the ability to put like AR-15 pistol grips? Yes, but when you look at the price point and the intended purpose for this, that's, you know, ergonomics isn't something you're looking for. Some people do complain about the ergonomics of this. I am not, I'm not complaining about that. One thing I will know as a con is sometimes this is just my and i've had carbine these carbines in the past i had a 45 carbine way back in the day the video is still on the channel i love the 45 carbine the thumb safety i have noticed granted this could be only 200 rounds in you know and it's really hard to do a full review because one people have had these forever but if you can't figure out if your gun is worth it within 200 rounds we got a lot of other things to look at but I will say one con is the thumb safety. I personally don't use thumb safeties. I don't use safeties because unless I'm doing an AR-15, I'm in a training class, obviously, yeah, you have to actuate the safety. The safety can be kind of hard to work. That is one con. Maybe down the road, once we get some Aegis Lube in there, some Joe Juice, that'll loosen it up. Okay. Second con. It's something you have to expect with how this is manufactured. The trigger is a little bit spongy. It's not as bad as my 45 carbine, I will say that. They must be doing something more with springs. I don't know if they added new springs to the manufacturing side of it, but the trigger is, it's not a Geisley. But again, I can't stress this enough. You're looking at a gun that is MSRP'd for about 350, 375 in that ballpark. So you're not getting a Geisley trigger, but it's usable. It's not a terrible trigger. It's just, it's a little bit spongy for my taste. Um, and the only other con I would say is that the ammo is expensive. I picked the 10 mil because I have intended purposes for this. I'd like to go pig hunting with this gun because 10 millimeter, it's a strong round. It can handle some very stout loads. So a couple of the pros I wanna say, soft shooting. With this spring recoil pad in the back, it really aids in the minimal recoil that this gun has. So again, a child, you know, a teenager, someone who has like, you know, is a very, you know, a scrawny built person, whether it's a man or woman, they can shoot this gun. It's not gonna be uncomfortable and they're actually gonna enjoy shooting it. Accuracy, 
is good. I really enjoy the accuracy of it. The price point is probably gonna be my biggest pro because hey, we're all living on a budget. We can't all afford to spend $5,000 on staccatos or Daniel Defenses or Q. We can get a 10 millimeter carbine that fits so many purposes for under $400. That is what I like. And the fact that also, High Point is a company, they're not just saying, hey, we want everybody in the world to have a gun. They're actually fighting for our Second Amendment rights, which is good. They're very pro 2A. They are unapologetic. Um, and I will say, as a company, I love following High Point on Twitter. If you guys haven't followed High Point on Twitter, you're missing out. I will say the 3D print community, uh, the 3D print gun community is, um, <laughs> they are relentless. They want to release, they want them to start selling parts kits so they can 3D print frames and all that stuff. And they're adamant and they mess with the 3D print community. I find it hilarious. I can't, I wake up on a Sunday morning sometimes, I'll scroll Twitter and guys check me out on Twitter the underscore real underscore sg1 that's where you're gonna get all i'm on post i've been posting a ton of deals lately some videos we're starting to live stream the shooting Lewis podcast to twitter or x uh but go check high point out on x if you want some comedy they're awesome uh but all in all this gun is a definite buy if i were to spend my own money on it i would do it 100 percent they not only make the carbine in 10 millimeter they make it a 9 30 super carry 380 acp 40 smith and wesson and 45 ACP. That is a wide variety of calibers. They were one of the first companies to actually come out with a 30 super carry carbine. Now, and if you are able to have a 10 millimeter pistol, the JXP pistol, same max. So you're able to get a perfect pair, that idea of a perfect pair where your rifle and your handgun take the same magazine. That is also a good pro. So if you're on a budget, you can have a carbine and a pistol for home defense, carry seal carry, whatever you want and your guns are taking the same magazines. So you're gonna get the training and the more repetition. People, I would love to go to a class and someone have a JXP uh, or a Yeet Cannon or something like that. I'd shoot this in USPSA if, it, you know, if I decided to pick up a nine millimeter, I'd shoot this in a com competition to see how it goes. They run, They've like, it takes a lot to kill these things. I think there's a video out there, I think of Demolition Ranch shooting it with a nine millimeter and it still ran. So these things are robust, they work. So if you're looking for a, a 10 millimeter carbine, do not overlook the 1095 from High Point. Guys, thank you so much. I give this a big thumbs up. Thank you again for High Point for sending this out for the channel. I think we should get a pretty good uh, Cerakote job on this. What do you guys think? We're gonna have to talk to Liberty Bell Firearms and see what they say, but I, I think this is gonna get some, a uh, little bit of flair Okay, a little bit of sprinkle on this thing. Comment down below what you guys think we should do. Also check out Liberty Bell Firearms uh, and uh, use code JOJUICE for 20% off your Cerakote and the laser stippling. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe, stay shooting. Peace.